come. Next up is uh, women's singles, and it's the world championship bronze medalist Zhang Yiman up against Lena Christofferson of Denmark. Of course, uh, Zhang Yiman was world championship bronze medalist in 2021. So when we look at the women's singles draw, uh, this the top half of the draw. And the defending champion, Herbing Zhao, safely through to the quarterfinal once more. And uh, she will definitely have Chinese opposition in the quarterfinal. But will it be a repeat of last year's final? Because she beat Chen Fei, the Olympic champion, and number three seed this year in the final a year ago. In fact, when you look at the draw, it is possible that the entire four players in the top half of the draw could all be Chinese athletes at quarterfinal stage. No Chinese players in the bottom half of the draw. So, Zhang Yiman making her second consecutive appearance here at the Denmark Open. Won that bronze medal in Welva in 2021 at the World Championships when she was only ranked 46 in the world. Lena Christofferson, well, uh, quite understandably, she's going to have the home crowd support. Only remaining Dane in the women's singles. We started with three. And two of them played against each other. Christofferson had a surprise victory over Mia Blickfeld in yesterday's encounter. So this will be just a second meeting between these two players. The only previous time was in the second round of the event in Saarbrücken last year. Two straight games it was for Zhang Yiman. So, Steen, am I right in saying that Zhang Yiman won the toss of the coin? I'm not really sure. Uh, if she did, did she uh, elect to serve? Well, I it's thought that Christofferson was asked which end she wanted to be. So exactly. That would uh, coincide with that, or she may have chosen to receive. I'm really not quite sure. No. But what I am sure of is that she's 26 years of age from Hunan. And she's currently a couple of places down from her career high on the world ranking. It was at this stage of the Denmark Open last year where she suffered a defeat. And it was against the number five seed, Ratchanuk Intanon, who went on to reach the semi-final. Two finals this year from 16 tournaments for Zhang Yiman. Won the Thailand Masters 300 event. And as you can see, she played against Clara Athamendi of Spain. Came from 17-19 down in that second game. Had to save a game point before eventually winning it, 22-20. And Clara Azamandi was uh, promoted from the reserve list. She replaced the number one seed, and say Young, who sadly can't be here because of injury. Lena Christofferson is 23 years of age from... Uh, Diana Lund, West Zealand. And she's a tall athlete, as you can see, 176, five foot nine and a half. Went up one place on the world rankings to 34 this week, third Dane on the ranking. And there is confirmation of what I was telling you just a moment ago, beat Mia Blickfeld in two straight games. In fact, in that opening game, she was 12-18 down won nine straight points to close it out, 21-18. So, a big shock, uh, possibly, for international viewers. Of course, I'm sure that Mia Blickfeld Ready and Nina Christofferson have played each other many times previously domestically, but the head-to-head -head refers to international tournaments. So... 
Simon Dart from England are on par for this one. And Seamus Halpin from Ireland is the service judge. Were you surprised by the result yesterday, Steen? Um, a little bit, uh, but um, one of um, um, the Danes, the coach of Anna Sentence and Joachim Pearson, he has a saying when these uh, young women, Danish women singles players are playing each other, he says the underdog is always the favourite. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on my right, Sang Yi Man, China. And on my left, Lena Christofferson, Denmark. <laughs> Lena Christofferson, sir. Love all. Play. probably needed the win yesterday most since she's fallen out of top 32 in the world ranking have been uh, struggling for a while so maybe that can give that win can give her some uh, confidence yeah so well, because you need to be in the top 32 One, to get an automatic entry yeah. into these top tier of tournaments the 750s and the 1000 events there's no qualifying she has been as high as 17 in the world has Christofferson. <laughs> Making her fourth consecutive appearance at the Denmark Open is the home player. Second time that she's reached the second round. Oh, that's nice. Three years ago, Service as she over. lost out to the two, oh. eventual beaten finalist, Carolina Marin, in two straight games, having beaten in the first round another Danish player, Lina Kiersfeld. Ah! Never really got behind that. Three, two. And, and that, that's the worry. Um, for Christofferson and for the Danish fans here that that the game from yesterday's first half of first game where she got behind 12-18 that that's what she uh, brings because um, there was a lot of errors in that game so she can't afford that I gave you some homework yesterday. Yes. About I, the drift, what do the Danish coaches say? I, for, I forgot my school book. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Oh, don't tell me the puppy yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, um, I, ha I didn't uh, find any Danish coaches that I could ask. But, oh, okay. But I can tell you today what I'm certain of, and that is that there's drift. Oh, that's a good shot. Excellent shot by uh, Dina Christofferson. And I'm certain that she's chosen to play with the drift in the opening game here. So the drift goes from the near side towards the uh, far end. And we've seen it in the matches. Not necessarily that the players are making so many mistakes on the far back line in the singles, but the players playing this near side here is Christofferson. They can't really uh, push their shots, which leaves the initiative very much to the opponents on the far side of it. Yeah. Now, I thought that's the way the drift was going yesterday. Yeah. Six. 
I also have to say that even though there's a drift, it's very good playing conditions, and it doesn't mean that um, Zhang Yiman, for instance, can't play it out. Seven, she will, of course, try to push her shots a little bit more, and um, and that's definitely possible, but it's also uh, where she needs to be careful in, in sort of overdoing it. And that's gone wrong. That just proves our point Eight, about the drift. Four. Flying faster, the shuttle going towards the far side of the court as we all look down during the rallies. Oh, there's another one just long of the back line. Yeah. It flirted with the sideline as well, but I think it did well in the side. Ways direction. That yeah, was clearly long, wasn't it? Well, that had been a run of five straight Seven, points five, for Chang Yiman. Shot. Lovely shot. Brilliant. Well constructed rally by Alina Christofferson. Christopherson herself created a little bit of history a few years ago and became the first ever European to contest a women's singles final at the World Junior Championships. That's right. Lost out to Gorgin Way. Yeah. And I, I don't know whether that's put extra pressure on her, do you think? Because people like me have had very high expectations and, you know, hope that she really develops into... Uh, one of the leading players in the world. Yeah, it's. Um, I think it definitely has put spotlight on her more than if she'd lost in the quarterfinal or so. Yes. Yeah, well played. Under severe pressure in that rally, Christofferson as Chang Yiman moved up from side to side, from forward to back. And the final smash straight down the line. Four point advantage. Men så spiller du lidt for at Chang Yiman. Det sidste er okay, men du kan også blive kliere en lille smule hen over hen nogle gange, når du presser. Så bare spille den helt ned. Okay, hvad hedder det? Men ligner dem her, hvor du bare stikker den, og så kommer frem af, det er også okay. Du skal arbejde så, ikke? Men så kommer du lidt ud og presser lige der. Og så lidt variation på forhold. Så bliver den der over hver gang. Fordi hun stiller sig også på den. Hun skal holde igen nu. Og, og så giver det helt hårde smads en gang imellem. Eleven, seven, flight. So the Danish coach, Aruna Olsen, having his say there. Anything of importance that we should know about, Steen? I uh, got in a, a bit too late, I'm afraid, but the last thing was that once in a while, uh, fire the full power smash at her, utilizing the drift. Oh. Was perhaps one we saw there. Well defended by uh, Jane Man. Well, yeah, 
purely instinctive defence there from the Chinese player. He still plays a perfect block. That's magnificent. Power of the smash, literally. Knocking her over, making her off balance. Uh, you've got to hand it to her. It was a wonderful shot under severe pressure. Thirteen seven. A lovely shot, and that's implementing exactly what her coach suggested. Eight, it wasn't just power, it was wonderful placement. Along with the back line. Nine, Most possibly a little bit short that one. Uh, not too much. wide disguise though on that punch clear it was absolutely magnificent Christofferson yep she'd gone the wrong way just as well it was wide from Danish perspective Just caught the last of what Rune Ulsing was shouting there, that her, that her do the running. Maybe he should suggest that she should play it to the net, between back line and net. I have to say, I noticed earlier on, Steen, I felt that uh, Christofferson was working twice as hard within the rallies. Yes. I agree. I'm not so concerned about her working hard. I think she can, she can do that. Uh, Service over. Lena and I'm more 15, concerned about 11. her keeping the error rate down because she's really quick on her feet and she's got a dangerous attack as well, so she doesn't have to do too much early on in the rallies. So far, even though she's she's behind here, I think it's it's positive from a Danish perspective, also positive from a Chinese perspective because she's ahead, of course, um, and. and um, with a good chance. So, the first challenge of this second round women's singles encounter. And the challenge by the Chinese player, Chang Yi Man. Uh, I think he was on the line. Yeah, you're right, Steve. So, Chang Yi Man, obviously, with a good chance of taking the first game here, but, but then again, challenge knowing the conditions, um, Christofferson will have the advantage remaining. when they change ends. She can push her shots a bit more. Over. Uh, 12, whereas Jang Yiman will have to uh, go more on the uh, attack. So, so far, um, everything undecided. Oh, over. Dear me. 16, 12. Made a hash of that. 
She'd been reactive 17, the whole 13. of the rally until that last opportunity and uh, perhaps excited by the fact that <laughs> she had a chance to hit a downward yeah. shot. Didn't really get behind it. Brilliant. You know, Steen, it was those five straight points from four all earlier yep. on in this game. And she's kept that sort of lead ever since, Chang Man. She has. And sometimes I think players maybe feel early in, early in a game that there's plenty of time to come back. I think you have to be absolutely focused at this level all the way through. And that's a totally different sense compared to when the scoring system was changed initially. The first two years it was like, we can't fall behind because then we'll never get back. Mm. That has changed over yeah. time. Nice. Strong play. Beautiful play. 16, and the deficit reduced to just two points. And obviously there's some potential in Lena Christofferson, but sometimes she almost plays too fast for herself. Just one point in it now. Line. Service over, 1917. Yeah. Missed it. And that miss gives 20, three game, game point, point opportunities 17. to Chang Man. That's a pretty special way to yeah. <laughs> save a game point. Get a net cord from the back of the court. That's the small margins. Yeah. Could have lost the first game there. Good shot. Two of the three game point opportunities have been well saved.
Mystic. Opening game. Game. 21 19 in favour of Chang Yi Man. Oh, China. First game won by Zhang Yi Man. 21 19. 19 minutes for the opening game. And had Christofferson not lost those five consecutive points from four all in the first. Who knows what would have happened in the second game? Det bare kommer at slå hårdt, dreje ind af, eller helt over baghånden til, og så ryk. Så er det virket rigtig godt, at vi har holdt det der net en lille smule mere. Ja, og jeg så synes, det er det, der er lidt for høje bare. Ja, men jeg synes, når der kan komme op og trykke på den, så skal ja. også gøre det. Ja. Altså, ikke hver gang. Så nej, nej. Det er det der, hvor du trykker, så træder helt frem bagefter. Hvad hedder det? For forhånden der, ikke? Det lige net er godt. De lige løfter fungerer godt. Bliver hun presset på dem, så kommer jeg til de der krusklæder, ikke? Ryg ind under dem. Okay. Stadig lige afvendt lidt fremme, men der er klar på dem, og så ryk på dem. Ja, der var, der var nemlig en træk på dem. Ja. 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 Den her måde, du neutraliserer hende på, når hun presser dig, ikke? Du ligger varieret og neutraliserer. Det er stadig det der med at komme fremad hele tiden, op og kyre forbrændet med, ikke? Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game, Lovell play. So a very tight opening game in the end with the 2021 World Championship bronze medalist Chang Yi Man coming through 21-19. Nice. We certainly saw enough in the opening game, Steen, to know that Lena Christofferson could definitely win this. Yes. And I assume the coach also had that belief and was uh, reinforcing that in the... Re reinforcing that she was doing the right things, um, like the uh, smashes going in into the corner instead of towards the lines, and emphasizing that it's super important that she keeps moving forward, overcovering the front court, playing the net back like she did there. Oh, just overdone it. Just wide of the singles court. Service um, over. One, all. And trying to neutralize uh, Jang Yiman's pressure. I, I didn't hear what, uh, how they were planning to do it, or it sounded like they were quite satisfied with how it was going initially. Two, one. But I think. I think the game, the, the, it, it hangs with Lena Christofferson. Since 7-4 in the first game, I counted errors and winners for both players. For Christofferson, I counted 13 errors, 11 winners. For Zhang Yiman, I counted one winner. Crikey. So she's scoring. All the points in the match at the moment, Lena Christofferson, and she has to tip that ratio yeah. to more winners than errors. Missed it. 
It's extraordinary since you gave us that stat, Steen. Yeah. She's made error after error. Uh, she's made six errors because I'm still counting. She's made six errors. In this second game. One winner and Jiang Yiman has made one error. That's why it's 6-2. There was a winner for Jiang Yiman. 7-2. And five straight points. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's... That's great play. That's Eight, lovely skill, isn't two. it? A little deception to keep it inside. Look at this. Yeah. little hold and flick. Perfect. And, I mean, it, it passes by the area where Lina Christofferson is. It's like she's somehow mentally committed to a different shot. Yeah. Well, well done by Jiang Yiman. Oh, oy, 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 oy. that's delightful. Oh, she's beginning Nine, to hit a lot of winners now. Dang you, man. Yeah. Oh. That's gone long. It's over. Three, nine. and calmly puts pressure on Christofferson, doesn't she? Yes. The block across court to the forehand net, then uh, a relatively simple smash down the backhand side. Christofferson's had to move the full width of the court. Exactly. Nothing special, it's just yeah. efficient. That's what made... In the, in, in the interval, they did talk about the change in conditions, and I'm, I'm not sure that Christofferson has put enough pressure on, on Zhang Yiman on the backcourt. No, I'd agree with that. I think you're right, Sting. She hasn't really used the fact that she's slightly hitting into the drift. No. We didn't hear all of the um, coaching. I have to say that. Six, so to the mid-game so interval. It's over. And turning in at a game and 11 6 up in the second. Godt, du bliver ved med at kæmpe i det her, ikke? Kommer op i tempo til sidst. Og det er det der med, hvis, det skal, hvis du står med en lovlig følelse og skal angreb på planen, så skal du også gå lidt på dem. Så må ikke lige pludselig gå ned og så lave en mellemtræk. Så skal der fart i, så du kommer frem og sætter bevægelsen. Det er jo også. Hvad hedder det? Det, der har manglet lidt, ikke? Det er jo, at din clear bliver alt for bløde. Så bliver du fanget sådan noget. Du bruger dem for at have trussel på, og så stadig for en ordentlig afvikling. Fint du går op og trykker på fra forbøgen af, men husk nu, Bare lige løft ned og flytte hende en gang, men du kan trykke lidt mere til dem herovre fra. God tid i hele tiden derinde. Kom så. Eleven, six. Play. So play resumes. Oh. 
that's just long. Steen is... Uh, 12-6. The Danish coach was talking there. You were uh, looking very uh, thoughtful and a little nod of the head, was it? Or? Yeah, th th he said um, the clears have been too soft. And that's sort of what we alluded to uh, in terms of not really taking advantage of the possibility to apply more pressure on the back court. Um, I think we also have to praise Zhang Yiman because she's controlled the drift brilliantly. Yeah. And, and again, we have to say this is not one of the um, very difficult holes to play in. The, the, the conditions are not severe. And Zhang Yiman, she's used to playing yeah. in those conditions. So, so this is, even though it's difficult, it's not at all impossible to play on this near side. Yeah. Just wide. 14, 7. Uh, it's yeah. really rather slipping away from Christofferson now, isn't it? Yeah, and, and the, the, the problem, in my opinion, is that it's it's on the back of 11 errors. Yeah. I'm interested. Do you put that down, no. that error? No. no, that's a winner. That's a forced winner. Yeah. Interesting. That's exactly how I would describe it, too. It was a forced error from... A good winner. What's going on? Well, she's given herself a bit of a mountain to climb, as Christofferson. But she should remember yesterday. Exactly. 12 18 down, coming back. It can be done. Challenge. Well, I don't think she's any hope of winning that challenge. I don't think so either. I feel she's fallen down a little bit, Jan Yaman, and she's on eight errors now. So maybe she's got a little bit too confident. Oh, it was clearly wide. So only one challenge remaining. Challenge successful. One challenge remaining. 10, 15, five. Oh, dear me. Service That's error. Over. That's one 16, service error apiece. Ten. One in each game. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah. 17-10. Quietly and calmly, just playing to all four corners of the court throughout the match. That disguised cross-court slice. Oh, Brilliant. magnificent. A little moment of 18, magic from Chang Yi Man. The other thing 11. I think that probably bothers you a little bit as well, Steen, it certainly bothers me, is how early in the rallies that these unforced yes. errors are coming. Yes, and, and there's, um, she's played one winner in this second game, Lena Christofferson, so, so that's... Oh, look at that backhand. What a wonderful way to bring out match point match opportunities. Point Take a look at this. That is played to absolute perfection. Four, 
going wide. Okay. Two straight games, the victory for Chang Yi Man. 21-19, 21-11. A match lasting just 34 minutes. And Chang Yi Man safely through to the quarter-final. Match won by Zhang Yi Man, 21-19. 21-11. Yeah, even had time to get her spatial awareness. She watches the shuttle, looks down at, towards the line, knows it's going to go wide. And two straight games. 21-19, 21-11 in 34 minutes. So they take lead of centre stage. We look forward to mixed doubles coming up next. Uh, Christiansen and Boya against uh, Jiang Wei. Welcome back to Odense. And it's second round action all day today. After that women's singles, we turn our attention to mixed doubles. And it is Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boya, the 